Here's another very cool virus, the Shop Papilloma virus. The Shop Papilloma virus is a type of virus that when it infects its host, it causes these keratinized carcinoma growths all on the head and face of the body. It's a very weird looking situation and it gets its other name, the Cottontail Rabbit Papilloma virus, by the fact that it infects types of rabbit species. So I am going to show some pictures, so just a warning, it looks pretty freaky. So this is a rabbit infected by the cottontail rabbit papillomavirus. Now it doesn't only infect cottontail rabbits, however it did get that name because that is the species in which it was first observed. So what happens, how it spreads usually is that a tick carries this virus, it gets attached to a rabbit, it bites the rabbit, the virus goes into the rabbit, does its virus thing, and the ticks spread between infected rabbits and thus spread the virus. It causes these growths to happen, and the growths are basically tissue that has been keratinized and kind of sprouts out of mainly the face and head of the rabbit. Now, the growths themselves aren't the most harmful thing. They may be a little bit uncomfortable, but unless the growths metastasize or spread to other tissues and become cancerous, they're not the worst thing in the world. However, they can, if they become too large and too serious or grow in inoptimal places, impact the rabbit. If they get too large, they can interfere with movement as well as eating, vision, and hearing. If the growths interfere with eating, that can cause the rabbit to unfortunately starve to death, and if it impacts their vision or hearing, it impacts their ability to escape predators. Overall, these rabbits that are infected by these growths and that virus are not having a great time. Now, this virus is quite geographically restricted, and it's only found in a few select areas in the United States. And those areas tend to overlap very neatly with sightings of the American cryptid, the jackalope, which is a rabbit with antlers or horns. And you may notice that these horns provide a very striking similarity to the growths produced by the cottontail rabbit papillomavirus. So it's kind of thought a hypothesis is that when settlers first came to North America, they saw rabbits infected by this virus. And we didn't know what viruses were at that point. We we're kind of like, what the fuck is wrong with this rabbit? And then the tale of the jackalope rabbit cryptid was born.